Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Anjali. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. You can. I can hear. Okay. How many of them have reported? Only you are there, no? Yes, sir. I am presenting the case. Shall we wait for some time? Some more time? Uh, yes, sir. sir. Good evening, have sir. Joined already. 16 have already joined. They are going to join more. Yes, sir. There is some more to join, sir. We'll start somewhere around 8 5. Okay. Oh, thank it. you. Sir. That's, that's okay. If this is not even late, we wait for it. It's just 7 56. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah, we have, uh, yeah. it, they'll start joining slowly, sir. Yeah. Um, sir, Karunakar, sir, Namaste. Namaskara, madam. Namaskara. Namaste. Namidra. Ah, ah, sir. Okay, I am going to go to the next one. Sir, I am going to go to the next one. Sir, I am going to go to the next one. Namaste. Vidyadar, sir, namaste. I am Dr. Subrata. I am the chairman of MSN. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for accepting our invite and coming, sir. Okay. Okay, ma'am. With the other one, I'd like to Corona Karan to Professor Intensive to Pediatric Ramay Medical College. But Larry student, Mother Sutter or you one person senior. Andre probably an intent to the college. Yeah, we can have five to nine. That's what I remind you. I'm a Rambo Murli, you're a such a ready Gangadar got classmate. Gangadar got classmate. Another old director, our class. Yeah, our class. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So nice to hear you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hmm. Very nice. Yesterday, Madhusudan phone called me. Today, sir, Bharat, 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 First yeah. meeting, is have to start as a president, then move. My son is there in uh, Indira Gandhi Pediatric Institution as pediatric neurologist. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Uddhav Kinnala. Uh, Uddhav Kinnala. Uh, Meet uh, 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 Meet uh, uh, Meet uh, uh, Meet uh, Anjali should not be under yeah. stress or tension. Nowadays, uh, this, the training has been so good everywhere. The students will be really good and they will be presenting their work. Yes, sir. 
अंजलि अंजलि ंगलूर I think we can start up now, is it not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll ask our host to start. Yeah, yes, sir. Anchor, it start. Madam, can you start, sir? One day, Nimsha. One day, Nimsha. I'll ask President. Uh, sir, President, sir, our phone busy. Birthday is there. Uh, maybe by the time oh, of addressing, uh, join, Madam, sir, can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can start. Oh, okay. Let us not waste. Gaurav, Gaurav. Gaurav, can you hear me? Gaurav. Ah uh, yes, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, yes. Ah, uh, please start the program. Okay. Uh, yes. Anjali, you start off. Okay, so a very good evening to one and all who have gathered. Ah, uh, so as part of IMA MSL, we bring to you the case presentation series, which we had started off last year, where yeah, we. Yeah, for people. And then we can meet social brothers. John, John, John. Yes, sir. Muted. Muted. Muted, sir. Muted. Hello. John. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. John. Ah, ha, sir. Join again, sir. Official program start. Rupa, sir. Rupa, sir. Anjali, come here. Unmute, madam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Karna Karan joined, I think. So, a very good evening to one and all who have joined us here Gaurav, again. Gaurav. Gaurav. So, one five minutes. Five minutes. Wait, Madhi. Have they actually joined us today? Yes, sir. Okay. I request only the dignitaries, Gaurav, moderator, sir, and uh, case presenter, to unmute yourself. And uh, please, everybody else, mute yourself. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. How many students are there in Bidar Medical College now? Undergraduate students, seat. Anjali. One fifty, sir. One fifty is our strength. One fifty students. Yeah. One hundred boys and girls. Ah, Kripa, President sir has joined. I think we can okay. start. Okay, we'll start. Gaurav, can you start the program? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Please, you can start. Yes, sir. Gaurav, start the program. So once again, I would like to extend a very warm greeting to all those who joined in on Zoom and YouTube. For the IMA MSN case presentation clinical series, so this is a clinical presentation series which we started off last year, having the aim that we can have fourth year subjects or final year subjects covered 
through an interactive clinical series session where we can have perfectly curated professors coming over and we can have a case discussion which can be helpful for both the students as well and for those who are interested in case presentation. I would like to introduce myself. I am Gaurav Jayadev. I study in third year in Baseshwar Medical College, Chitradurga. And I am the newly elected National Council member from IIMS in Karnataka. And this case presentation series is in parallel with an esteemed dignitary of judges and uh, guests which we have. And I would like to introduce Dr. Uh, Karnaka sir, Honorable IMA Secretary, who would... So I would like you to uh, state a few words and uh, start the program with IMA prayer. Dr. Karnakar, sir. He has to unmute himself. It's unmuted, yeah. Yeah, 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 I just did it. So thank you so much. Good evening, everybody. Uh, again, on the behalf of MAKC, welcome our beloved president, past president, Mother Sudan, the chairman yeah. of the MSN and ADN, and all the dignitaries and the speakers and the honorable uh, teacher is going to teach us today, actually. Myself, Dr. Karnakar, Professor of Pediatric and an Intensive at Rami Medical College, is the Honorary State Secretary of IMA Karnataka State Branch. I take this opportunity to start the meeting with IMA prayer. Uh, I request everybody to just uh, listen to this. Bharatiya Vaidekya Sangada Prarthane, Yellaru Santosha Vagirali, Yellaru Aragya Vagirali, Yellaru Novin in the Mukta Vagirali, Yellaru Dukkad in the Mukta Vagirali, Yella Ase Amitigra Numiri. Thank you, everyone. I pass it back to the moderator and uh, for the further proceeding. Before that, I would like to express sincere thanks to the initiative of the new initiative for this year academics under the leadership of Dr. Sinua says. And the initiative has been well started with by the chairman of the MSN committee uh, and also by the past president, Dr. Patusan, sir, and everybody. You only wish this activity should go on a regular basis so that it, it makes members benefited from across the state, actually. I remember last year also we started very well up on time. After some time, somehow uh, we missed uh, more activities happening. And one of the reasons was being uh, examination coming in the way of conducting the meetings, actually. So my suggestion could be that we remember uh, some of the activities we conducted during COVID time, uninterrupted almost about uh, three, four months. Similarly, the activities conducted on a weekly basis, not one, one week is missed by the Kannada Sangha, Kannada Vajra Balagara Sangha. Every month we have crossed more than 100 meetings have been conducted without disturbance. I think that's the inspiration to say how to make this academic activity from the MSN uh, Karnataka State Branch to go continuously. So even the exams are coming, maybe at that point of time we can leave aside the, the examination batch and if possibly can continue involving those who are not involved in the examination, continuing activity so that whoever is freaking attend so that there is no break in the continuity of the activity. If it's after about a few weeks, naturally, it's very difficult to restart the program. That's what we observed. So with this, I would like to express sincere uh, thanks to you and also wish a wonderful uh, year ahead of academic activity, good learning by, uh, by the excellent teachers and also wonderful discussions by students. Thank you so much, and uh, best wishes to the team, and uh, uh, it's back to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir, for the IMA prayer and your kind words, and surely that would guide us forward in continuing the series as we start along. Um, along with uh, Dr. Karnakar, sir, I would also like to extend a warm greetings to Dr. Srinivas, sir, president, yes. the now president of IMA yeah. in Karnataka, sir. So. Sir, yeah. if you could have a few words. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, good evening, everyone. So, definitely, it's a very, I'm very, it's a very pleasant situation for me to start this program. I tell you, it's a wonderful program also. And anyhow, Dr. Shubrata is there, Dr. Krupa is there, Dr. Nithun is there. Our, uh, so, initiator, Dr. Madhu is there. Madhu Sudan Karignur is there. And uh, I have to express my sincere thanks to my secretary, our secretary, honorable secretary, Dr. Karnakar. We initiated uh, very well now. We started the program. 
and as he told you know, it is a very good program for all the this one and initially you know that in when we were doing pc we used to attend on chetar mata teaching program they like that somehow you learn little bit get this question and all and a very good teacher definitely we are ready we are definitely very good teacher very high end teachers only we will ask and discuss with you so definitely you will have a very good time so i am very very thankful those who are very much responsible to start this beginning these things so thank you one and all i wish you my bottom of my heart i wish you everyone great success and uh, let uh, and also have to thank the faculty people here faculty professor and those who came here all the way to wasting the time and uh, to teach you definitely i wish you all the best take care thank you sorry i have some urgent with this one i leave and you go ahead definitely go and take care of you thank you subrata take care you are you are there no so definitely you run the show this subrata and krupa krupa is there yes sir yeah 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 ma you both take care okay thank you thank you thank sir you. thank you okay thank you so much president sir for the address now yeah, we would like yeah. to have a few words from dr shubrata ma'am the chairman the pillar of ima msn ma'am if you could have few words from your end as well before we yeah uh, a very good evening to all of you having uh, studied having done my mbbs from mysore medical college and md psychiatry from nimhans i have always cherished the clinical discussions which we have had with our great teachers and uh, the same thing i feel about our medical students is that we need to have lot of clinical interaction with teachers and with the new technology we can sit with our ima being the backbone with we having a zoom platform to do any time any day i think we were privileged to do these classes and uh, always we have a president secretary academic committee chairman and madhusudan karignuru sir to help us in all these things and i just hope that our students utilize this uh, whatever number is there right now apart from that we'll have people also looking at these discussions in youtube link i think that is going to be a archive for us uh, for the students so thank you vidyadhar sir for accepting our invite and coming here and thank you anjali for presenting today um, uh, gaurav you can go ahead i'll be there thank you so much ma'am and also a notable mention to dr shantala ma'am who is the academic committee chairman who would also be joining us and it's because of her that we are having the clinical sessions continued and also dr mithun m who is an intern who was a very strong pillar and is still continuing as to be a very vital member of the ima msn so welcome you as well sir uh, then we have dr uh, madhusudan sir madhusudan kaignar sir who is the ima past president under whom the tenure started and now is ima bylaw and rules committee chairman i would like uh, dr madhusudan sir to introduce the moderator for today's session sir yeah. if you could go ahead sir yeah yeah good evening can you hear me yes sir yeah yes, sir. here is uh, uh, here is dr vidyadhar kinnar he was my teacher uh, for both undergraduate and postgraduate uh, graduation at uh, balari medical college Uh, he is well known uh, teacher among uh, uh, our uh, uh, pg and also ug at uh, uh, balari medical college uh, he has taught the more than 5000 undergraduates and more than 2000 uh, uh, ms general surgery uh, students and he is known for his uh, surgical skills and uh, teaching skills we used to enjoy his methodology of teaching during our undergraduates we still keep his uh, uh, notes and surgical uh, uh uh chapters uh, here is dr vidyadhar kinnar who is uh, student friendly and he uh, he will teach you uh, about the basics about uh, the surgical uh, uh, presentation of the cases uh, thank you sir thank you uh, vidyadhar kinnar sir for accepting our uh, invitation on behalf of ima karnataka state branch and uh, we shall go ahead thank you so much sir and lastly i would introduce uh, doc Uh, Krupa Ma'am as well, who is uh, joining us, who is the newly elected uh, state convener. So welcoming you as well, Ma'am. And um, so, Dr. Vidyadhar Sir, thank you so much for joining in. And uh, we hope that uh, the case presentation today 
goes smoothly and we have miss anjali as well who is a finalist here from brims bidar and i would like to ask uh, krupa ma'am to continue from here on and introduce our guest and our presenter for today thank you all for joining us in this uh, journey of series which is the first episode of our clinical presentation series and uh, as a state convener of immsn i consider this as my pleasure to welcome ms anjali garnale final year medical student from brims bidar as a case presenter of the day welcome ms anjali thank you ma'am thank you we can start with the case presentation today yes ma'am Firstly, good evening, everyone. One small instruction to Anjali. Yes, sir. Use small sentences of English. None of us are Englishmen, and you need not be grammatically totally correct. Subject-wise, you must be correct, and there should be no stress at all while presenting. And the committing of mistakes. i don't feel that it is bad because i have 40 years of surgical experience i think you have 4 months of surgical experience you can't compare 40 to 4 months and there are plenty of other doctors who are together you will be coming out or somewhere around 100 years of surgical experience all of them put together you are with 4 months anything and everything whatever you feel like you can speak and we will take it totally sportively start off now best of luck to you Yes, Sanjali, start. Can you hear me? Sanjali, can proceed with the case. We will start off now. Please start. Any network issue, Sanjali? Shreyas, are you there? Krupa, uh, can you yes, call up Anjali? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to contact her. Sorry, sir. There was. Hello, Anjali. Yeah, we can hear you, Anjali. So please proceed with the case presentation. I think she is preparing to uh, share the screen. That's why there is a delay. Anjali, there is yes, a network sir. issue with. Yes, Zan. Anjali, your screen is visible. Make it to full screen. Unmute and start. Krupa, can can you call Anjali? Yes, yes, sir. I think there is a network issue on her side. So, good evening. Good evening, everyone. I am presenting a case of Miss Suman Bai, a 56-year-old female homemaker, hailing from Bidar, primarily educated. She belongs to class three of socio-economic status. She was examined on 28th of November. The patient comes with a complaint of lump in the left breast since four months. 
Yes. Patient was apparently all right four months ago. Then she discovered a lump in left breast accidentally during bath. Which was painless. The growth was insidious in onset, gradually progressive in size, initially a small one, now to a large one. Change your slide. What you are reading? No history of reconstruction. Sir? What you are reading and what you are presenting on the screen are two different. You know? See, you must be... Okay, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hmm. Shall I continue, sir? Yeah, yeah, please. No history of nipple retraction. No history of... That is a network issue on your no side. No, any swelling. You can stop screen. screen sharing. I'm not able to hear properly. There is a lot we of can't hear you, Anjali. You you just stop the screen sharing because it takes a lot of your network. Uh, Anjali, can you do one thing? Yes, can you yes, stop screen sharing for now? You continue presenting the case. You can screen share it with other okay. device. Okay. Okay. You stop screen sharing for now. Meanwhile, you can connect through some other device and screen share. Let her read. No issue. Uh, you please start uh, presenting the case for now. Okay. You switch on your start video and you start presenting the case. Anjali, can you hear us? Kripa. Yes, ma'am. You can call her. Yes, I her. Just read out the history. Can you not switch on the video at all? Yes, uh -huh. yes ma'am. Anjali, just start presenting the case, no? No need for screen sharing. Anjali, do you have a helper with you? Do you have a helper with you by the side? There's a patient, Ms. Subhanabai, a 50-year-old female, homemaker, hailing from... No, the audio is not clear. No, I can't hear anything. No, no. Anjali? Belonging to class 3. Anjali? Of socioeconomic status. Coming with the complaints of... Shall I continue, sir? No, 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 we can't hear you. Yes, sir, I can hear you. You can hear us, we can't hear you. Uh, sir, since network issues, uh, we will instruct Vidyadhan. Anjali to join in uh, shortly. By that time, sir, we would be grateful to but, know some tips uh, from Dr. Vidyadhar Kinhal, sir, about CA breast cancer presentation. Okay. Meanwhile, we'll ask Anjali to join in, sir. Basics of examination of carcinoma breast has been... Most of it, see, the breast malignancy is basically hormone dependent. Whatever you assign the reason that this is the estrogen dependent or other things. 
first examination should be done in open well lighted room with she being um, up to the umbilicus you must keep her just open so that the examination will be easy but see that somebody is there with you always when you are regarding history as well as the examination preferably if there is a female attendant is there while examination it is better and all of you whether you know their particular language or not you must always keep a man, man who knows her language what they tell you is better than what we interpret so her their answers are when you ask them something you must record them in their language and always i personally feel that do not keep the patient under stress already they are stressed because somebody has told them that she has married history collection should be extremely good as all of you know that 80% of the cases in surgery you can make a diagnosis by collecting good history and here also the similarly you must collect good history correlate the history and then try to ascertain subsequently during clinical uh, physical examination what i personally feel is many number of times in the examination the especially in the post graduate examination i have never so many many times the students will not be examining the opposite breast that is not correct they will not be examining abdominal examination and also many and many number of times per rectal examination see many investigations have come but none of the investigations will tell you what is the feel of a tissue that's why i say that there are investigations we can tell you the surface of the uh, lesion interior of the lesion but it can never tell you the touch of the lesion so all investigations are there to corroborate the diagnosis that you have made clinically then only they will help you otherwise do not ever make a diagnosis by seeing the investigations many number of times people boys go back to the investigations and then try to tell the diagnosis it is not correct you go go with an open mind and exam and always always see that both the nipples are examined what is the level of the nipple what is the size and shape of the nipple and then definitely while physical examination you must always tell about the uh, feel of the normal breast first never ever harp on to the abnormal breast first feel the normal breast so that you will be able to correlate the abnormal breast breast consistency and other things Mm, when you are whenever you enlist the physical findings there should be history should be in chronological order and the clinical finding that has been written in das you must follow inspection palpation percussion and auscultation and special examinations for the breast also i have seen boys missing the opposite side axillary lymph nodes just examining the opposite breast and not examining the axillary that doesn't prevent uh, see there may be a lymph node in the opposite axilla which you, may, you may miss but what happened these are the tips which i wanted to share with her some of this comes during the flow of presentation suddenly not during this otherwise i would have prepared our 8 to 10 slides about what to do for uh, ca breast examination what do's and don'ts of ca breast examination off hand we have to tell that the at present the clinical examination of breast is totally also dependent on the staging of the disease they must be extremely careful about staging of the disease, both stages either with pnm staging or clinical staging and also investigations investigations are really helping and and the usage of investigations has helped us to improve the survival rate enormous now we are declaring cure rate for the anjali is ready anjali is ready anjali Anjali She called me she is ready Anjali Madhu yen madano Shall we continue or refix the time Hmm Can I start the case presentation, sir? Yeah, please. Anjali. Sorry for the delay, sir. There was a technical glitch. So, 
I am presenting a case of Ms. Suman Bai, a 56-year-old female homemaker hailing from Bidar, primarily educated, belonging to class 3 of socio-economic status, coming with the complaints of lump in left breast since 4 months. Yes. Patient was apparently all right. Four months ago, then she discovered a lump in the ref left breast accidentally during bath, which was painless. The growth was insidious in onset, gradually progressive in size, initially a small one, now to a large one. No history of nipple retraction, no history of nipple discharge, no any swelling in axilla, no history of trauma to breast, no any such complaints in right breast. No history of fever, no history of dyspnea or chest pain, no history of pain in abdomen or abdominal distension, no history of back pain or bone pain, no history of headache or seizures, no history of loss of weight, no history of HRT and no history of irradiation. Okay. Shall I continue with the history? Do you know that all no histories convey something? You have enlisted so many no histories. Is something yes, in the back of your mind? Yes, sir. I think you know them. That's why you have yes. written no history, no history. Because all of them convey something either to diagnose, either for diagnosis or for treatment. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Past history, there is no any history of comorbidities like diabetes mellitus, tuberculosis or asthma. No history okay. of medical or surgical intervention, allergy or drug intake. The personal history, uh, the patient consumes a mixed diet, regular bubble and bladder habits, the appetite is normal, undisturbed sleep, and no history of any addictions. The patient yes. at attained Menard at 12 years of age. She had regular cycles of 3 to 4 days with adequate flow and attained menopause at 47 years of age. Okay, how many children? Two children, sir. She was in a non consensuous marriage. Two children, both full term with normal vaginal delivery. Age at first childbirth was 21 years. Both the children were adequately breastfed. Any signif Family? significance? Yes, if sir. There to be no children. Any significance for that? In nulliparity? Uh, in nulliparity is a risk factor for carcinoma of breast, sir. Okay, go ahead. Family history. There's no history of breast cancer or related deaths in the family. No history of BRCA related malignancies such as pancreatic, prostate, colorectal or ovarian in the family. Very good. Okay. Shall I proceed with the general examination? Yeah, yeah. So in, in, in a nutshell. Yes, sir. History has not given you much information regarding whether it is malignancy or not. Is it painful or not? The swelling is painful or no, not painful? Is the swelling symptomatic? No, sir. Is it is not any, symptomatic. Is, is there any pain in the swelling? No, sir. It was how, the pain. How did she make out that she has a swelling in the breast then? Sir, she discovered it accidentally oh, while okay. bathing, sir. Okay. Okay. So on physical examination, except that she has a swelling which is painless, which may which may consider it as malignancy because many most of the benign lesions of the breast are painless. When you go into a lesions of the breast, there are inflammatory, there is a, a harmonic benign breast diseases and malignancies. So now it go you have ruled out inflammatory lesions of the breast. Okay, go ahead. Yes, continue, Anjali. Yes. General General examination is mm. conscious, cooperative. She was examined in sitting posture with both the hands on sides in adequate daylight with informed consent and a female attendant. Okay. The 
Vitals were as follows. Pulse rate, 68 beats per minute, right radial. Blood pressure, 124 by 72 mm head G, right supine position. Respiratory rate, 18 breaths per minute. Temperature, ephebrile. Performance status, Karnofsky score, 90. No pallor, ictrus, clubbing, sinusis, and edema. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Physical examination, examination of the breast. The patient was yeah. adequately exposed up to waist and examined in sitting position with arms by side, raised, and on hips, also bending in forward position. Good. Okay. Inspection. Firstly, both the breasts were observed simultaneously. Then? Yes. While examined, we examined the normal side first, sir. Okay. But the, there was a lump in the left breast, so uh, left breast appears no, to no, be no, large. No, no, no. On inspection, what has happened to the breasts? On inspection. On inspection, both were at the same level, sir. What did you observe? Which, which one were at the same level? Both the nipples were at the same level? The level of the nipple, same on both sides? I am not. Are you hearing me? Anjali? Did you see the level of the nipples on both sides? Complex was on the same level. Yeah, good. Then, size of the breast. Breasts were on the same level. Size of the breast. Both of same size? The left one was larger compared to the right one, sir. Left one was larger compared to the right. Okay. Yes. Mm. There was a visible fullness in the upper outer quadrant of the left breast. Okay. There were no any dilated veins or ulcer. No satellite nodules or body orange. No dimpling or puckering. The nipple areola complex was intact. Hmm. Yes. The right breast, the shape was globular, skin norm, normal, nipple and areola was normal, no lighted, no dilated veins, no puckering, ulcers or scars. Okay. In the axilla, there was no visible swelling. Supraclavicular and infraclavicular region, there was no swelling and no edema of arms. Movement of the shoulder joint was in full range and painless. Okay. Go Shall ahead. I continue with the palpation? Yes. You go ahead. Go to palpation now. Now finish the inspection, which conveys a message that there is fullness in the upper and outer quadrant of the left breast. Yes. With no evidence of any inflammatory or neoplastic pathology causing the engorgement of the veins. Okay. Yes. Except left breast upper outer quadrant is showing fullness. Okay. That's yes. the inspection yes, point. Fine. In palpation, the right breast had no lo local rise in temperature, no lump was felt, no nipple retraction or discharge, and no any cracks or ulcers. In okay. the left breast, there was no local rise of temperature, but an ill-defined lump in the upper outer quadrant measuring 6 into 5 centimeters. How did you examine that lump? Is there any yes, methodology for examination of the breast lump? Any specific lump? Yes, sir. Palpation with the pulp of fingers, sir. Pulp of fingers? You hold it, is it? Hall of the palm or fingers? You use hall fingers, of the palm? Fingers. Okay. Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. The lump has irregular surface, is hard in consistency and non-tender. It was fixed to skin. It moves with breast, but not independent of breast. One minute. If it's to skin, you would not break out during inspection? Uh, no, sir. In palpation, is... when the uh, skin was pinched, the lump was, uh, there was no separation between the skin and the lump. Is it fixed or puckered? 
or tethered underlying skill sir puckering that was the sunken appearance sir can you Puckering. can you move the skin over the swelling you following what i am saying skin moves over the swelling or it is ad no. adherent to the swelling adherent to the swelling sir acha there is no range of mobility between the skin and the swelling okay skin. fine yes, it sir. is adherent yes, to skin yes is sir. it more than the size of the swelling or less than the size of the, the adherent to adherence of the skin the every less question i ask you, i ask you will be having some relevance while discussing the manager okay yes, fine hmm. it was less than the lump sir less so than adherence the is less than the size of the lump okay yes sir then you then said hard was... inconsistency yes sir how did you say that it is hard in consistency the what are the types of consistencies you know of firm consistency cystic sir and then they might be smooth smooth is what is on surface so how do you make out what is soft what is firm and what is hard because what is hard for you may be firm for me so everyone should have a guideline to say that it is hard in consistency is it not yes how do you say it is not firm in consistency okay it is hard in consistency how did you interpret, interpret this theek hai i will accept your physical finding hard in consistency okay in the last i will tell sir, you all okay, last i will tell you all these things madhu sir ah answer you do the puckering or tethering can you throw, throw some light on to yeah, the student definitely. you if want there to... is a pud arrange yeah. is yeah yeah definitely will do. if there is a pud arrange that is there is cuticular subcuticular lymphatic obstruction you find like a orange peel appearance on that if it is a tethering there is a fibrous tissue adherent between the skin and the tumor the tumor has spread along this fibrous tissue that is why there will be a range of mobility when there is tethering that means that fibrous tissue which is there hanging on from the skin to the uh, swelling you will find a minimum range of mobility some range of mobility will be if it is fixed to the skin skin cannot be moved or, or onto the on the surface of the swelling i think i made the points clearer pud arrange tethering and fixing okay and one more fixer is there she is about to exp- uh, yeah, students describing. kindly note yeah students kindly note these are the standard questions that examiners will be asking you in the exam mm-hmm. tethering fixity is very very important because subsequently it will help you and bring you good name as when you manage the malignancy of the breast okay yes fixity you telling anjali you tell me telling sir anjali you are calling you no know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anjali, Fixity to the skin, sir. Yes, sir. I'm following. Yeah, I'm following. yeah. Kindly note all. These are all very standard uh, uh, questions that uh, basic uh, MBBS students should know. And sir has raised a very good question. How do you uh, uh, grade consistency? Like hard, soft, smooth. Yes. Consistency yeah, means I... what? Anjali, consistency means what? It shows what yeah. I contain. Consistency word has come from. It shows what I contain. What I contain. What I contain is I contain fluid or a soft tissue and soft tissue under deep pressure that is hard in consistency. Or it can also be woody hard or stony hard. That also will describe later. Okay. Yes. Go ahead, Anjali. You don't worry. You're doing well. Good. Anjali. Anjali. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Perfect. Always. And sir, tell something. Just let's be guests or no? Something. Hey, she is doing good. I'm happy that uh, Bidar is my place where I have started my education, and there is a girl presenting from that medical college. I'm so happy. Go ahead, Anjali. Yes, sir. The lump was fixed to the skin. It moves with the breast, but not independent of breast. Okay. it was not fixed to the chest wall or pectoralis major muscle and the nipple areola complex was intact is it underneath the nipple areola any any part of it is underneath the nipple areola a portion no, of the lower it border it was in the upper outer quadrant sir that's what i'm telling you lower border is near the nipple areola or no no sir subsequently to help you because ebc and abc nipple areola complex play a 
big role in managing. Okay. It is fixed to pectoral as major or not fixed to pectoral? No, sir. It was not fixed. How did you interpret this? How did you conclude that it is not fixed to pectoral as major? You're following my question, Anjan? How did you? Hello? And, uh, the muscle pectoralis major. Hello? Yes, sir. How did you interpret that it is not fixed to pectoralis uh -huh. major? Which, which test do you do? Can you hear us? <laughs> How can you make out a lump is getting fixed to any muscle? Forget about pectoralis. You can take uh, brachioradialis, uh, pronotal arteries, or biceps. There is a swelling there. It is adherent to that muscle or not. How will you make out? Madhu Papa, or do you do it? Network issue, Tanjali. There is a lot of network issue. So, the pectoralis major muscle? Sir, by uh, moving the fibers of the muscle, sir? How can you observe fibers of the muscle in front of the back? There is breast in front. Vertically along the fibers of the pectoralis major muscle. When you contract a pectoralis major muscle in a female, will you be able to see that? Yes, sir. The patient was asked to keep the hands on the waist and okay. the pectoralis major muscle was taut. As the fibers of the muscle pass vertically, and when the lump was moved along the fibers, it was in... Where, where is pectoralis major inserted? Where is pectoralis major inserted? Mobile, sir. Huh? It, run, it runs vertically upwards lateral intertubercular circus of the humerus, sir. Lady between two majors. Okay. Okay. You are right. It, 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 it gets inserted to the. Is it an adductor or non adductor? Is it adductor of the shoulder joint? No. Adductor. Yes, okay. Sir, Forget about it. How did you conclude that it is not adherent to pectoralis major? Sir, it was mobile, sir. When we tried to move hmm. in its contract. State. I'll tell you all. Uh, please was, remember these. All the sentences. Please remember these. All the sentences are important. Not only for any lump in the breast, for lump anywhere. Whenever you hold a lump, range of mobility of that lump should be noted in two perpendicular directions. Number one. Remember this. You, whenever it is, wherever the lump is there, you hold a lump and study the range of mobility. R O M. Range of mobility of the lump should be examined. Noted in two perpendicular directions, wave upward down and lateral. It depends upon the way the stone, I mean, the lump is existing. And after that, you contract the muscle which is which it is in vicinity. If the ROM of that swelling has come down in one of the directions, it shows that I am adherent to him. It shows that that lump is adherent to the muscles of the so my fiber, my muscle fibers by this lump. I think I am making it very, very clear. Now you start imagining yourself as holding the breast. Okay, holding now. Then hold that lump, move in two directions, note down the range of mobility, then ask her to contract pectoralis major. Again, do the same uh, movements. If the range of mobility remains on both sides same before and after contraction, that yeah. means that swelling is not adherent to pectoralis major. Fine. Sir. Okay, good. Mm. This is one of the very basic questions that will be asked to undergraduates. Kindly make note of all these things. Anjali, Go ahead. Can you hear us? Anjali? It's a problem with overhead. Anjali, you are uh, from Maharashtra or Karnataka? Anjali? Can you hear us? So from Karnataka. Karnataka. Yeah, where are you? Sir, Bidhar sir. Bidhar is it? Bidhar is it? Sir, Devi Colony, sir. 
ದೇವಿ ಕಾಲನಿನ ಓಕೆ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವರಿ ಇದನ್ನ ಯಾಕೆ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಕೇಳಿದೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ನೆಸರಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ನೀಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐಮ್ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೌಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಾಲಜಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಅನ್ ಯಂಗ್ ಏಜ್ ಸರ್ಜಿಕಲ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋ ಹೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಡಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೆಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಜರ್ ಫೈನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ Anjali, can you hear us? There is a network issue on half side. Yes. The regional lymph nodes, sir. Yeah. Hey, Anjali. I think you have to change your position or place. There is a network issue there. Anjali? the regional lymph node sir am i audible sir you are audible but uh, okay. alternate sentences are audible but uh, you have already proceeded to the regional lymph nodes okay there is a lump in the breast yes. which is adherent to the skin not adherent to the posteriorly not adherent to the pectoral is major the mobility of the muscle i mean the lump occurs in both directions but it is fixed to the skin the skin fixity is less than the size of the tumor okay that's what yes, i think yeah tell me yes. what about the lymph lymph nodes in the axilla the regional lymph nodes sir both the axillae are normal no lymph nodes are part no 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 aisa to nahi chale aisa to nahi chale no your regional lymph nodes you have to enlist what are the regional lymph nodes you have examined and how you have examined yes sir the axillary lymph nodes the axillary mm-hmm. group of lymph nodes mm-hmm. which includes uh, five groups mm-hmm. uh, the pectoral group mm-hmm. brachial Mm. group the subscapular group the apical mm. group and the central group sir since it is an education what you are taking up whether it is enlarged or not how do you examine each group yes sir the pectoral group sir it is situated behind the anterior axillary fold okay so firstly the patient's arm is weighted ah and using the using the right hand for the left side the fingers are palpated behind the pectoralis major muscle okay why should her hand should rest on your hand why the patient's hand should rest on your other hand what is the motto behind this anterior anterior axillary fold comprises of what It is formed by what? Sir, that will relax the pectoralis minus. Yes, very good. Whenever you try to examine any lump anywhere, the intervening muscle should not be contracting. It should be relaxed so that you can feel the structure easily. Okay, fine. With the pulp of the fingers, it is palpated. The lymph nodes are palpated, sir. Okay. and again the thumb of the same hand is used to push the pectoralis major backwards press major backwards how did you do it anteriorly you push okay fine anteriorly mm. then the uh, brachial group sir it lies mm. in the lateral ball of axilla mm. where does the axillary tail of breast drains spencer in the axilla from the okay so all Foramen five groups of, of lymph nodes are all five groups of lymph nodes are not enlarged okay no, you sir, accept your physical findings you accept your physical findings okay then the other group also anything you have examined in the supraclavicular region yes sir the lymph nodes the cervical lymph nodes sir okay you did not find anything opposite axilla is also normal is yes, not sir. that's what you wanted to say anything else yes, any other positive findings you would like to enlist no so even the systemic examination everything was found out to be normal okay like the cvs normal heart rate and rhythm s1 and s2 sounds were heard 
in the respiratory normal vesicular breath sounds on cns no neurological deficit per abdomen no organomegaly there was no tenderness of spine so skeletal survey you must always do skeletal survey because these the malignancies can go and deposit themselves in any of the flat bones or not lung bones okay go ahead hmm. what's your provisional diagnosis a 56 year old post menopausal woman with a painless lump in the upper outer quadrant of the left breast there were no skin changes or chest wall involvement it was uh -huh. not associated no no there are skin changes it is adherent to skin it was adherent to skin and then you said no things okay hmm yes it was not associated with lymphadenopathy it is most likely to be a case of carcinoma of breast stage 2b t3 and omo what are the points in favor of malignancy sir firstly coming to the age factor sir good. post menopausal woman good and about 50, and the 40 fourth and fifth decade of life uh, okay then a progressively enlarging mass short history okay hmm Mm. Adherent to the skin, sir. Consistency. Hard consistency, sir. Hard in consistency. Many number of times conveys that it is malignancy. Then adherence to skin, it is malignancy. Okay. So stage you already described. Okay, I yes, accept. Sir. Any differential diagnosis you would like to propose? sir i would say a uh, traumatic fat necrosis but there was no history of trauma sir never ever commit that if there is is a reciprocity locator there is no need to enlist differential diagnosis what is reciprocity locator negative history sir reciprocity locator okay complete your example one of our co colleague is uh, requesting us to allow her to complete the examination so oh, please go ahead complete your uh, presentation so that the questionnaires will start last all of them can put their questionnaires on the chat box okay go ahead Anj anjali yes sir the provisional diagnosis uh... investigations uh, we could go for uh, fine needle aspiration cytology a true cut biopsy cct chest abdomen pelvis bone scan for metastasis okay you are uh, listing the investigations available that's what it looks like the first investigation that you would like to do is a uh, fnac sir fine needle aspiration cytology Okay. What I want to know is whether it is uh, would you, oh, okay. Uh, would you like to do a mammography? So mammography is a screening uh, test. Ah, so... the mammography is described into two parts now. One is uh, when in the this thing you have to take uh, mammography. Screening and diagnostic, sir. Uh, yeah, the screening test is also there, but diagnostic diag for diag not diagnostic for diagnosis it will definitely. Give you some information. Sometimes there are multiple focal lesions. How will you make it? Clinically, you are able to palpate only lump, one lump. But if there is a mammography, you will be able to make out that. Okay, you do an FNAC. What do you want to see in FNAC? And which needle gauge you use? Yeah, all of you are allowed to ask questions on chatter box. Let me uh, make this clearer. One of them are asking that can we take up the questions at the end of the presentation? Definitely, we can take up the questions. No problem at all. Okay, so you have done sir, an FNAC. A twenty-three yeah. uh, gauge needle is used for FNAC, sir. Okay. What we can assess the cytology. What is FNAC? Fine non-needle aspiration cytology. Ah. Ah. For Where the superficial you... lesion, sir, it is done for the superficial lesion. The cytological the... morphology is not lost. If in in FNAC, the cytological morphology are brain. Gets affected because you are sucking it. In FNAC, as it is, it comes out. 
uh, if uh, when in doubt they try to do an FNNC, but it has not picked up so much popularity in the market. Okay, then what then, else? Sir, you? Usually the investigation of choice is a true cut biopsy, sir. Ah, that is good. Why? Sir, because uh, it is a biopsy, so we get the tissue st uh, status also, sir. In FNAC, we had only the cell status. The Fantastic. Psychology. Very good. Why, why do you want the tissue, not cells? Uh, tissue, if it is uh, in situ or invasive, sir, like uh, carcinoma. No, no, no. How does it help you later? Tissue metastasis. You have taken a tissue. So the, tissue. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, receptor yeah. status, sir, the cell, ER, PR positive. Then, if it is an in situ or invasive carcinoma, immunohistochemistry. Yeah, immunohistochemistry. So the receptor is positive. And then, under that, you can write down all those things. So, if there is a tissue, immunohistochemistry, then you will be able to see after doing so, anything that you are tackling the lump, any methodology you would like to. Subsequently, no tissue is available to compare the immunohistochemistry. Now, you can come to oh, how will you plan now? You agree that it is a malignancy. It is arising from duct, not from gland, okay, not from globules. Fine. The stage, I have agreed with your staging that you have done because the skin tethering is not beyond the size of the tumor. I have agreed to your uh, this thing, staging. Okay. What do you want to do? So the uh, workup includes uh, surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and uh, hormonal replacement therapy options. That is for writing a theory answer. There is a patient sitting in front of you. What do you want to do her? What is your plan for her? Sir, I would go for surgery, sir. You'd like to do surgery first. So what are the guidelines for doing surgery first or any other guidelines that has come now? ABC and ABC. ABC. Is, do you, what do you uh, stage this uh, tumor as? Advanced breast carcinoma or early breast carcinoma? Early breast carcinoma, sir. Early breast carcinoma. Early breast carcinoma, first line of uh, choice is what? If it is an early breast carcinoma, you would like to do surgery first or anything else first? No, go ahead. No, you would like to do surgery. That's what you want. See, the present, what is going on in the market Carcinoma breast management in all the uh, countries is that as far as possible, save the breast. Now you tell me what you want to do. Breast conservation surgery, sir. You like to do surgery or anything else? Chemotherapy, sir. It is called as what? Neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Yeah, come out with that. Recently, I had a problem. One of the VIP's daughter had malignancy. We did uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Please believe me, not even a small iota of one millimeter swelling was there post subsequently. So how will you plan unless you have a you have a core needle biopsy? Okay, neo adjuvant chemotherapy. What do you want to give? Sir, uh, there are regimens. We have CAF regimen and CMF regimen, sir. Okay. So whenever you tell what is posology? Do you know anything about posology? Have you heard this word? Have you heard this word, Anjali? No, sir. No, no, sir. No, sir. No, I mean, better it is. So that you are giving option for posology means drug dosage duration. That is posology. Three days. You name the drug, you name the dosage and, uh, dosage and also duration. So in this, what will you do? How, at what intervals you would like to give? The, since you are a final year student, it doesn't matter. So chemotherapy or neo chemotherapy is a good answer. You already passed in that first group, scored good marks. So what will you do now? You have given neo chemotherapy. The swelling has subsequently reduced, so substantially reduced in size. What surgery would like to do? Name the surgery. Sir, so modified radical mastectomy, sir. No, 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 no. Oh, mastectomy means you have to take out the whole breast, is it? I have already told you that breast conservation surgery is, a, is the fashion of the day. Yes, sir. Then modified radical mastectomy So what do you want to do now? This, uh, after breast... giving your joint chemotherapy, the size of the tumor has come down substantially. What would you like to do? A breast conservation surgery, sir. So what is the breast conservation surgery? 
Anything details about Brahma 2 names of breast conservation surgery, you know? Uh, lumpectomy, sir. Ah, very good. Then? Quadrantectomy. Very good. Partial mastectomy. Segmental mastectomy. Segmental mastectomy. Partial mastectomy is not a term in vogue. However, I accept the segmental or quadrantectomy or only lumpectomy will do. And then what will you do for that lump? You have taken out the lump. What should you do? You will send the lump for? Lump for? You exercise the tumor ready. Where will you send yes. it to? You are not asking, you are not understanding the question. You have taken out the tumor. It is in your kidney tree on the operation theater table. What will you do for the tumor? Most important part of any histopath, you have to send it for histopathology, specifically writing the margins of the tumor. Positive or negative, the margins of the tumor are extremely important and pathological evaluation because the type of the tissue that is there in the lump that you have sent always helps us to assess the prognosis of the disease. What are the types of malignancies you know of, histopathological malignancies? Yes. Uh, yes, good, good. Yes, good. As a final year student, you must know that it should be sent to histopathology and histopathologist will request them to assess, comment on the margins of the lump. Are they tumor free? The lump is tumor free. Are you are you able to hear me, Anjali? Hello? Uh, others are you able to hear me? One message I would like to give to all the colleagues that are there with me and students with me that treatment of malignancy is achieve the maximum cell kill with minimum intervention. That is the main motto. Maximum cell kill for a malignancy, you must achieve the maximum cell kill with minimum intervention. So what has happened is the volume of the malignant cells are reduced by giving a new adjoint chemical. Because many a times we tackle locally, but already some cells have passed through the stream of blood flow, blood flow or venous flow. So, whenever you give a new adjoint chemotherapy, small soldiers here and there spread all over the body will die up because of new adjoint chemotherapy and the major captain that is there in the breast, will, it will become a smaller one. So, this has achieved both the local cell kill as well as general cell kill when you do your new adjoint chemotherapy. The next fastest and shortest duration cell kill is achieved by surgery, wherever you go, whatever malignancy you tackle, whether it is... Uh, Malignancy of colon or malignancy of colonic malignancy or any other malignancy you are tackling. The surgery is one thing with the shortest duration. It gives you the maximum cell kill or mal maximum separation of the malignant cells at a, such a short duration. So the uh, well, brunt that falls on the health system is definitely the suddenly the patient starts improving because the malignant cells have come down substantially with whatever methodology you are trying. Now we have done a new adjuvant chemotherapy. You have planned for a surgery, whether it is depending upon the status and stage of the disease and response of the disease. Because after third dose, if it doesn't respond, there's no question of waiting. You have to do surgery. And then depending upon the decrease in the size of the tumor or increase in the you have to plan your surgery. Subsequently, after getting the report from the histopathology, the margins free or margins not free. If at all margins are not free, that means you have to go for a completion mastectomy because if the margins are still affected and you can't save that breast anymore. And other thing is you have to have a radiotherapy that is called as teletherapy and brachytherapy. What is teletherapy and what is brachytherapy, Anjali? So I have to plan for a teletherapy and brachytherapy. 
and first of all one thing we must remember that all problems of breast are dependent on hormones estrogen is the culprit which produces the malignancy in breast so now we have to tackle after giving chemotherapy of same of regime we have described now we have to tackle the reduction of the estrogen dose in the body so you call anti estrogens are what others any idea i don't know whether she is online or anti estrogens such as tamoxifen citrate then you have done immunohistochemistry you will be able to find out that monoclonal antibodies also can tackle such as trastuzumab or leptinum and you also can tackle yes madam madhu so estrogen reduction we have not connection with her sir estrogen reduction estrogen blocking estrogen conversion such related drugs are to be used and also vasculature development factors are there they also prevent spreading of the disease or recurrence of the disease radiotherapy chemotherapy hormonal therapy immunotherapy and last but not the least most important is counseling counseling is the one thing Thing which makes because if there is a depression, it has been proved beyond doubt that serotonin and dopamine levels, which increase during these things, will enhance the speed of spread of the disease. So we must be able to convince them that what is the disease, how can you tackle, and they should be at the right status. Then the spread of the disease can be controlled. Many number of diseases, not only C A breast. That's what I wanted to aromatize inhibitors. I wanted the answer from her. I didn't. I, I don't know whether she is online or not. Yes, sir. The aromatase inhibitors, amino glutathione, arimidex, okay. letrozole. Okay. Aromatase inhibitors does what? Sir, they uh, prevent the peripheral conversion of estrogen. Sir. Yes, it comes in the way. And if you just uh, analyze that, in a matter of one week, the ninety-eight percent production of estrogen is prevented by these aromatase inhibitors. Tamoxifen is an anti-estrogen. It sits on the receptors yes. where the estrogen bonds it, so that there will be selective separation of estrogen, trying to increase the incidence of malignancy or increase the number of cells for malignancy. Yes. What is the survival yes, rate sir. of stage one disease? You have done all these things which have been enlisted, such as neoadjuvant chemotherapy, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and surgery. And what is the stage one disease has got survival rate? A stage one disease with fifty-five year old lady. What is the survival rate? Ninety percent. So ninety percent what? Five years survival. Sir. Five years survival rate. It is ninety-eight percent with the stage one. A up to stage one B, but however all these combined full pronged at attack, you will be able to get ninety eight percent five years survival rate. And one thing very important is depends upon the histopathological uh, type which you have got because if the if the pathology is multi centric or multi focal, uh, the poss possibility of uh, same type of malignancy can occur in the opposite breast what is the incidence of opposite breast malignancies traced over period of 10 years what is the incidence of malignancy traced over a period of 10 years all participants can ask their questions in the chat room the chat box now i can answer questions please write down your questions
There are 62 participants at present. Anybody else would like to ask something? Anjali, you only ask something which you want to get the clarification. If I know, I will answer you. Sir, uh, the previous question only I wanted to know the answer. Sir. The what is that? incidence of uh, carcinoma in the opposite breast. At, that's what I mean. You must know the histopathological lesion, then you'll be able to answer that. What are the type, two types of histopathological lesions you may get in the breast? Atrophic sclerosis you will not get. Trace over a period of 10 years, 55 years, 50 years and above, there is incidence of malignancy and opposite threat in 0.2%. 0.2%. If you operate at 200, you will get two cases. Okay? 0.2%. That is the study. Okay, okay. Yeah. then. Breast reconstruction, you don't want to do? You have done a radical mastectomy? In, in, in between, you are answering modified radical mastectomy. Yes, sir. What are the other mastectomies you know of? What are the other mastectomies? Your simple mastectomy, you said. Radical mastectomy, modified radical mastectomy. Anything. What is the rotor lymph node? Uh, the lymph node between the pectoralis major and minor, yes. sir. So, between. you must know this because you have to clear that during surgery. Okay. So, you have taken out so much of breast tissue, everything, and the whole anterior wall, chest wall is uh, now vacant with no this thing. How will you cover that? Any plastic surgeon helps you? Oh. Yes, sir. Oh, we can use uh, reconstruction flaps, sir. From? DIEP flaps and TRAM flaps, sir. Uh, DIEP is the deep inferior epigastric artery. Okay, good. Then? And TRAM is the transverse rectus abdominis mucocutaneous flap, sir. During surgery, when you're trying to do medical radical, modified radical mastectomy, what are the structures which you must be careful of while doing surgery? Uh, yes, sir. There could be injury to the intercostal nerve, sir. Okay. To the thoracodorsal nerve. Okay. You have a scapula that is winging. Winging of the scapula, uh, serratus anterior, sir. Ah, Long thoracic nerve. Sir, Long thoracic nerve. Then you are now towards only nerves you are concentrated. You cannot be partial. You must the thoracodorsal pedicin. Three nerves you are completed. Mm -hmm. Auxiliary the veins. Ah, then? Auxiliary veins. Hmm. There's a lot of problem. There is no internet in either. Vein. Ah, auxiliary veins. Vein. Auxiliary veins, sir. Auxiliary okay. vein. Long thoracic yeah. nerve. Lateral ah. and medial pectoral nerve, sir. And lateral and medial pectoral nerve. The what do they do? No, 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 no. no lateral and medial pectoral And the thoracodorsal pedicel. You have already taken out the whole pectoralis major muscle. Where is the question of lateral and medial pectoral nerve? No. So long thoracic nerve, thoracodorsal nerve, intercostal brachial second, and then axillary vein. Okay, go ahead. So you have done a reconstruction. What is your instruction to the patient while sending home? Important instruction that you are you have to tell the patient before sending out. Follow up, sir. Huh? She has developed malignancy of one breast. Tell me what instructions you are giving her. Internal mammary chain is uh, draining breast or not? Internal yes, mammary sir. chain of lymph nodes is draining. Now you tell me what is the instructions you send her when you send her home? Yes, sir. Retrosternally, do you think the internal mammary chain is draining? Yes, sir. Regular follow-up of what? Is he coming to you is okay. Concurrently, no, no, there is internal mammary chain. I don't think we have tackled that only during radiotherapy and chemotherapy we have tackled. Surgically, we have not tackled. So, what do you observe for the... You send her with some instruction to the house. 
you have to do this what is the usual instruction to every lady is given after 30 years of age that while taking bath yes self examination so ah you must she must concentrate more on her left uh, remaining breast left almost every week she should continuously examine her breast because chances of opposite breast getting the malignancy due to this malignancy are very much on the higher when compared to the normal individuals other individuals so you must give her instruction that she should thoroughly examine her remaining breast whether it is left or left or right and then she should when in doubt she should reach the physician surgeon as early as possible okay any other doubts you have i am very happy yes. that you have presented your case very nicely in spite of internet not cooperating with you however your presentation has been very good and you have structured and you have studied well for the ca breast and an undergraduate students finally are so much of knowledge about plastic surgery chemotherapy radiotherapy and so many surgeries that you know of probably you have seen all those surgeries which you have enlisted now lumpectomy or modified radiotherapy all that you have seen sir i have seen lumpectomy sir no radical mastectomy you have not seen no no sir Can I have the freedom of asking the name of your HOD of surgery in Bidar? Shivyogi Bali, sir. Doctor Shivyogi Bali. Okay, okay. Just you pass on my uh, respects to him because he has prepared a very good student, and you have very bright future. Anybody else would like yeah. to ask questions? Please ask. Yeah, I would well. like to thank for your patience, sir, because yes, there were so many technical glitches and also. Yes. Knowledge-wise, we are good. Good learning. For a for an undergraduate student, knowledge-wise, we are good. Committee. Thank you. Krupa. Hi, Yoga Nagar. Hello, sir. Krupa, is it? Sir, I had actually one question. Yeah, please. So it was asked by one of our uh, local examiner during our end posting test. That is, uh, explain about ghost approach in uh, breast surgery. What is that? Ghost approach. Ghost. G uh, G H O S T. Ghost approach. It is best way of answering in medical examination is when you don't know, you say I don't know. So that next question will come to you. However, uh, uh, till yesterday I was reading C A breast. I did not get this word at all. Yes, sir. Even I searched in textbooks, but uh, this was the last question which uh, sir has asked me actually. Sir. Probably ghost he has been you uh, know neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Some people say ghost surgery because it totally disappears. No surgery has been done, but still it disappears. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, let me take the name of present present MLA here whose daughter was operated by me, not operated by chemotherapy given, and she refused sub subsequent surgery. Okay, no problem. Ghost surgery, I can only interpret like this, but I, it is not a definite answer because there is no evidence to suggest that in the literature which I have read. Okay, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. It was nice. I have enjoyed the whole session. Uh, some uh, internet problem has been not by ours, but somebody else. Uh, there are facility available at either was may not be up to the mark which we expected, but however, her uh, performance has been extremely good. Congratulate and. Say good to Anjali. Very Thank nice you, sir. Idea. Thank you so much. Hello, hello, doctor. President Elector of Sinhala is there. Is there, sir? Sir, Namaskara. Sir, Namaskara. Namaskara. If C A breast to hold the case, then whether the same patient will have another C A? Another C A means uh, some other organ C A. Some other other organ C A. Over here in Karsano. Over in uh, apart from that one, no, one of my close relation, she had C A breast, left breast in the year nineteen eighty eight. Inwalar sir. Yes sir. Sir is undergraduate sir. Undergraduate class. I mean, please just answer this question. Please answer Papa. Structures which are related to estrogen can develop malignancies. That, that, that is lady. the usual interpretation. Yes, the and that my my close relative survived for thirty years. That I wanted to say. One of my relatives is there. I operated in nineteen eighty. Still, she she survived. She is refusing to die. <laughs> okay, sir. Oh, so nice, sir. I have... yes, very nice. Hmm, actually, refreshing us also. Krupa, Krupa, are you there, sir? I would be continuing on behalf of Krupa. Yeah, Gaurav, Gaurav. 
Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes. There, no? Yeah, yeah. Yes, thank sir. Thank you. Give the vote of thanks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you so yeah. much, sir. It has been a wonderful session. Laura? Laura? Yes, sir. Sir, I'm audible, no? One, yeah, one minute. I am. I am I audible? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On behalf of IMA KSB, I thank Dr. Vidyadhar Kinnal, who was known for his uh, teaching skills. And uh, get, don't get carried away by high-end uh, uh, investigations, as uh, told by uh, Professor. We need to stick to it, clinical examination part and basic investigation. And basic questions uh, uh, in between what uh, sir has asked, they are the standard questions. And if you answer all those things, take it from me or pass. Over and above that, those questions will carry the more marks and you can uh, get into the medals or uh, distinction. Okay, over to Gaurav. On behalf of... So Gaurav will give uh, the vote. Thanks. Uh, and uh, and Vidyadhar Kinnal, thanks IMA for having given me an opportunity to be to take part in the CME. Uh, any more such uh, chances, I am here always. My services are always there for IMA case. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, apart from technical uh, issues, it was a very good discussion. I thank all. Gaurav, over to you. Thank you so much, sir. Um, again, extending a warm thanks to Dr. Vidyadhar, sir, for his vast experience and his wealth of knowledge for which we can carry forward the confidence into presenting clinical cases. And to Miss Anjali, ma'am, as well, who, despite the technical difficulties and glitches, we could conduct this clinical presentation. The same would be uploaded on YouTube as well and would be shared among college groups. So hopefully that would enlighten all the students who missed out due to exams or other reasons. And to begin with the word of thanks, again, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Karnaka, sir, IMA Secretary, Dr. Srinivasa, the President of IMA MS in Karnataka, Dr. K. Shibrata, ma'am, the Chairman of IMA MS in Karnataka, Dr. Shantara, who couldn't join us today, the Academic Committee Chairman, and Dr. Madhusudan, sir, who has worked extensively as I am a past president and the bylaw and rules committee chairman and Krupa ma'am who is the current um, I am a state um, convener and Dr. Mithun sir who is the state coordinator and myself Gaurav Jaydev the national council member would like to extend a warm thank you to one and all who joined us here and hopefully we can have your feedbacks and more of these sessions will come forward and in a more better way so we're looking forward to it thank you so much everyone